And TSU uh, first year player Amir Langley joining us, a transfer. I uh, played USC Upstate previously. Uh, just what are some general thoughts about you and your uh, your team as we enter this upcoming season? Just excited to be here. I'm real optimistic about this season. Um, we're looking really good, I must say, really good. Like, just ready to get it going and ready to show the world what we're about. What, uh, tell us why uh, it was, why you picked TSU, why you wanted to be there and play for Coach Collins. Okay, so after I graduated, I was looking for a school to um, finish my grad year at. And, you know, in the process, Coach P and the whole coaching staff just, filled on my visits and recruiting process they just filled me with love and compassion like they cared about me as a person and they really like talked about basketball in a way that's like they really know the game and they they knew me as a player even before I even played with them so I, I knew like coming here would just better me as a player and I would really have a chance to win some games and when 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 all we can win uh we got Mike Oregon here from the Tennessee and he's got a question so go ahead Mike He's maybe on, you might be on mute still, Mike. Sorry about that, Kyle. Hey, I'm here. Hey, Amir. We, we talked to Coach Collins about uh, the portal, obviously, and uh, how uh, you know the coach's uh, perspective. What's it like for a player uh, to to kind of start all over almost every year? Was it like mm -hmm. that at Upstate? And what do you expect it to be here? Can a team jail in one season? Right. Well, you know, it's crazy because came into college 2019 and it wasn't like this at first you know it was a lot a lot more rules and regulations and now it's just, I, I've played with so many players within my years players is going in and out of schools but you know it's it's crazy that you can you can join a new group of players like for one year and within a month or two that you feel like you've been you feel like you've been with these guys for, for three or four years because, you know, you're waking up at 6 a.m. with them. There's long nights, early mornings. You go through you go through ups and downs with them, and they, it kind of just become like a second family. And, you know, with the game of basketball, emotions can run high, and you kind of just form a, a bond with these guys. And you can really start to gel really well. Amir, what are you most excited about playing with this group of guys this year? I'm excited to beat some teams. I, I think we have some tools on this team. And I think we'll really be a, a match of nightmare for, for anyone we step up against. I'm just excited to, you know, we've really been competing against each other for so long. I'm excited to to play some other teams and and go at them like we go at each other in practice. That's a perfect segue. I, was gonna, I didn't get to ask Coach about this, but ask you about the schedule, and you got some good games on there. You got the HBCU All-Star Challenge with Howard and Atlanta. Just, mm -hmm. um, just some of those. What do you think about some of the teams you're going to play this year? Well, I'm glad you mentioned the uh, the Howard and Atlanta because Atlanta is my hometown, so I know I have some family and friends, high school friends, et cetera, at that game. So I'm excited for that just to play in Georgia State where I've played at so many times, whether it's high school tournaments, camps, workouts, you know, I'm, familiar with that gym I'm excited to to play in there and and the teams we have in the schedule I'm, I'm excited to no matter the talent level no matter if it's if it's Fisk or any other team I'm excited to just go out and just beat some teams no matter uh -huh. who just treat them all the same Mike's got another question go ahead Mike yeah Amir uh my other question was going to be uh Coach Penny talked a lot about uh size and length uh for this team that's going to kind of be the theme you're six nine you fit right into that uh, talk about that a little bit, uh, if that's the way you played at Upstate and uh, how that's shaping up on this team. Um, I love it a lot. This is actually a first for me being on such a lanky team. We have, you know, a player like Aaron who's about 6'6", and he can run point guard for us, and and we're all, we're all long and mobile. Like, we can really be menaces defensively, like, whether we're switching one through five or whatever it is, you know, we're, we just have length all around. And I just, I think it's, I think it'll give us major benefits defensively and offensively. We can utilize mismatches and whatever it is, you know, I, I, this is a first for me here. Typically in other programs, it's more traditional, the fives and fours are the longers, the point guards are smaller, but here it's all, we we're all about just long and, you know, just lethal. Yeah. Thanks, Mary. That's it. Very interesting. 
Do you, uh, what did you know about, you know, some of the other OVC teams before you came here? Do you have people, you know, that are playing on other OVC teams this, this season? So I, I don't really know um, too much about these teams, but one of my teammates from USC Upstate, Jalen Brazil, he's at uh, Moorhead right now. So I'm excited to see him. And uh, I, I have a, I have a previous teammate who's at Lindenwood right now. He just transferred in too. I know these teams kind of similar to us, they have a whole new group. So, you know, I'm excited to see who who we'll be going against. If you if I had to say if there's one thing your team needs to do between now and the end of the season to win a championship, what's like the most important one thing that you all have to do? That's a good question. That's a good question. I have to think on that a little bit. Honestly, I think we just need to play other people because I feel like when we play against you know, other competition, we have some scrimmages uh, coming up real soon. When we play against other people, we see how we, you know, respond to whether one of our best players might have a good game, will they get down emotionally, you know, who might step up. We might have some other people stepping up that we probably wouldn't have foreseen beforehand. But, you know, it's it's a whole different ballpark when, when it's compared to practice, like when we're actually in a game playing against other people or with the crowd watching with media watching, you know, people talking about the game, that's a whole different thing. So I think we just get right into it and get that experience of playing other people and then we really get to continue to learn from that. And that's really what will show us what we need to do to win some championships. Perfect, Amir, thank you so much for joining us. Love your enthusiasm. Uh, just best of luck to you and your team uh, this season. Thank you. Thank you for having me.